right. Hey, everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you to Can't Stop the Blues for having me. My name is Meg Williams. I'm so excited to be here and playing for you guys. Uh, I'm going to be playing some new songs, brand new songs for you guys, as well as some uh, songs that were on my full-length album that I released last year and my EP that I released about three years ago. So, and it's going to be all original tunes. Um, I'm normally based in Nashville, Tennessee, but today I am live from the Finger Lakes in New York and live in the pole barn. <laughs> uh, this is, I'm in my dad's pole barn right now and we fixed it up with a little stage here. So I'm super excited to play for you guys. We're gonna have a great night. So kick back, relax, and have a drink and I'll play some tunes for you guys. <laughs>
next song I'm gonna be doing for you guys. This one's called Tell Everybody. And it is one that I wrote with my good friend, Terry Goose Downing. He is an amazing guitarist, singer, songwriter in Nashville. And we play together all the time and we've been writing a lot. But this was the first song that we wrote together. He had this groove, this idea, and showed it to me. And this is the song that developed from that. Uh, and it's on my it's on my full length album, and it's also on Goose's new album, which is called Tell Everybody. So you can hear two very different versions of the song. Uh, so make sure you go check it out and check out Goose's version. Um, and feel free to sing along at home. Uh, usually there's some some echoes and call and response in the chorus with the Tell Everybody. So I hope you guys are singing at home. <laughs> Here we go. <coughs> called Played by the Blues. It's another song that is on my full-length album. 
and it is the first song I wrote with a good friend of mine, Scott Barrier. He's an incredible songwriter in town. Uh, and Chase Walker, who's another blues rock artist uh, based in Southern California. And this is, this is an idea that uh, Scott had this idea, this title written down, played by the blues, and, and he showed it to me the first time we got together to write. He's like, I've had this for a while. Uh, if you want to do something with it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Definitely. So uh, we started writing it, and then we brought Chase in, and it developed into this song. So hope you guys like it. Oh, yeah. 
She's an amazing uh, songwriter and folk artist in Nashville. Um, and it's a song that I had started and, and she helped me finish it and shape it into how it sounds today. So this song, this song's very special to me. Uh, it is the first song, or is the only song on my full length album that I hadn't been playing out beforehand. I saved it for, I released a music video and I saved it for when the album was released to start playing it. Um, all the, usually when I write new songs, I like to play them out, test drive them and all this, but I really wanted to save this one. Um, this song uh, means a lot to me. It's very special to me. Uh, but this one's called Sometimes I Need You Too.
we are going to take a short break, uh, but I'll be back with some more music, so stick around. so much fun playing for you all. Um, this next song I'm going to play for you guys. This one is on my EP that I released about three years ago. And it's a song I started writing when I was living still up in Rochester, New York. And it started off really slow. It was, it was slow grooving song and it's really picked up some pace over, over the years and into what it is now. Um, but this song, this song is special to me. This song means a lot to me. It is uh, one that I played when I was first visiting Nashville and trying to make that decision if, if I wanted to move here or not. And it's really this song I, and the feedback I got and the experiences I had playing it at a few different open mics when visiting that, you know, I made the decision like, yeah, I want to move. I want to do this. Uh, so this song always brings me back to that. And I think of, I think of some of those first times I, I came down here and, and visited. Um, but yeah, this one's called Not My Problem. <laughs>
I'm gonna do another song that I just finished with Scott Barrier. And uh, it was another co-write with him. And we started it right before um, all of the, the quarantine started. And so we finished it via Zoom and, and FaceTime. <laughs> Uh, so everybody's getting very creative through all this and we're doing, you know, FaceTime hangs and FaceTime writes and co-writes and it's, everybody's getting really creative in this time. But this is a song that I just finished up with Scott. It's called Done Getting Over You. And I just, I based it around, I had the first line of the song in my head and I'm like, I need to do something with this. And the first line is, um, try so hard to forget you, even harder to forgive you. So it's always harder to, you know, forgive and move on. But hope you like it. Here's a new song. another song that is on my full-length album, Take Me As I Am. This one's called Make A Move. And it's actually, um, it was an idea. So <laughs> as a songwriter, and maybe some of you other songwriters can relate if anyone's watching, um, I have so many notes, just random notes everywhere. Notebooks, scrap pieces of paper, Google Drive, notes on the computer. and. Sometimes 
they develop in song. Sometimes they just kind of hang out there forever. And sometimes, uh, you know, I like to circle back through and see if anything comes out, stands out to me when I'm looking to write a song. And I was going through some of my old, however far back notes, and I found this line that isn't now in the chorus of, of this song. It's, I know I'm not with you, but I damn sure wanna be. And I was like, I need to do something with that. So <laughs> finally did something with it. Here's Make a Move.
next song. Uh, this is a newer one. Um, and yeah, it's called Don't Want Your Love. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Just another a sassy little song, but hope you guys like it. song I'm very proud of this song it's definitely uh, one that I want to record soon so hopefully I can record some of these these new songs that I'm playing for you guys tonight soon so you'll have to stay tuned for that <laughs>
have had fun tonight. I've had such a blast. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, to finish off the night here, every week, if, if any of you have been watching my weekly Friday night live streams that I've been doing, every single time I've been ending with this next one. This one's called Little Bit of the Devil, and it's on my EP and my full-length album. It's a song I wrote shortly after moving to Nashville, and it's a little bit about myself, but it's for all those strong, independent ladies out there who are going to do what they want. <laughs> the blues for having me this has been such a blast i hope you are all staying safe and healthy and i hope you had a fun night um i can't wait to see you guys in real life in person but it's been so great to connect virtually uh let's all stay connected and uh have a great rest of your night thank you guys so much hi my name is bob margolin and I'm a charter board member of the Pine Top Perkins Foundation and professional blues musician with over 50 years experience as a player, writer, and educator. We are grateful to be part of a wonderful collaboration with the Can't Stop the Blues concert series. This powerful new partnership with Can't Stop the Blues allows our foundation to showcase our young Pine Top Perkins masterclass alumni and instructors as they play it forward to help fund the second pillar of our mission, which we call PAL, 
During these extraordinary times, PAL has been providing emergency grants to musicians in need. We receive approximately 10 requests per week and are assisting with basic needs such as rents, mortgages, and utilities. The gratitude from these artists is both humbling and inspiring. Feel free to go to our website, www.pinetopperkinsfoundation.org or the Pine Top Perkins Foundation Facebook page for more music and information about the Pine Top Perkins Foundation and the Pine Top Assistance League. Thank you in advance for your support. Shake it. 